video now. My friend Isaac reached out to me because he wanted me to coach him on autocross because he's never done it. He comes from a background of drifting. He said, Brian, you've done autocross, ultimate street car, and you've even done the Netflix thing. So can you help me and teach me how to autocross? Now, I'm not saying I'm an expert, but I have some, uh, what would you call it? I got some background in yeah. it, per se. So we're actually here in Houston for the SCCA autocross, but we're not alone either. Jordan from RTR, he's here with us as well. So he's gonna be hitting the autocross track. Well, let's go check out Isaac's car and get him ready to pass tech. What's up, buddy? Hey, how y'all doing? Pretty good, man. I see you're getting all the stuff out of your car already. Yes, gotta get ready for autocross. Yeah, if you want, you can put this stuff in the uh, back of the B-Sport, oh, yeah. if you want to. Okay. Thank you. So real quick, I know your car for the most part is stock, right? You got exhaust yeah. and suspension? Yeah. No, I don't have suspension on it. I have stock. Well, it's got from the dealership four, I think, one-inch lowering springs. And then I got a cold air intake and an exhaust. Okay, so other than that, you're pretty much stock. And I know you've got the Nitto 555 G2s on yeah. the back as well. So, I mean, not the best tire, but I have used these on the Challenger 315 squared. And yeah. they don't get the job done once you get a little heat in them. Okay. Um, but we'll go over that here in a little bit. Basically, you want to keep your... You want to control your temperatures, but it is cold outside, so getting heat in them is going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Yeah, and other than that, it's an automatic car, right? Yeah. Check out the inside here. Automatic car. Uh, you have paddle shifters? No. Yeah, I do. Oh, you do have paddle shifters. Yeah. So they got carbon fiber on them from 77 Performance. Okay. Well, yeah, it's going to be a little different than uh, the drifting stuff. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited and nervous at the same time just because I'm used to sliding it, not going straight, especially this track. Yeah, because you've you've drifted here before. Yes. Yeah, but for the most part, I mean, you'll be fine. I'll uh, let me get him uh, seated position in your car, and then we'll talk about gearing, and we'll talk about his launch and that kind of stuff, and then we'll get your car ready for tech inspection. Uh, Jordan's almost done with his, and then we'll be ready to rock and roll. So let's right. get it done. Let's go. Isaac's rolling off the tech, and I'm with this ugly goon. You know what? Beauty <laughs> is, is hard for everybody to digest. I can understand why it's hard for you. <laughs> yeah, I see that. So I think I heard you also teaching somebody else the, the ropes of autocross. Yes. Your son. Yep. <laughs> He's got a Focus ST that has the engine out of it right now, and it was supposed to be ready for this event, but somebody likes to sleep in a lot. Oh, man. Then you guys just go to Dallas to go get a new motor? Right? Maybe just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Went all the way to Dallas for a new motor to not show up, dude. Yeah. What a bummer. I'm here talking crap in my car's in the garage ready to roll. <laughs> and I haven't even driven it. But you've done it. <laughs> but so I've you done it. You understand. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, real talk. Seeing just you guys here with your cars and seeing all these other cars. Because some of them I've seen in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I feel FOMO. <laughs> I'm like, dang it, dude. Yeah. Who, who would have thought somebody who enjoys this kind of thing is going to feel like, man, I should have brought my car. Yeah. I mean, I think they're pretty... No, they're not even. I can't even say that. Out of the box, the Mustangs, because I've driven them, are better than my car. <laughs> and my car's got thousands of dollars in it. It does good, but yeah. if I would put that amount of money into an S550, I mean... Yeah, dude. I'd dude, be smoking. Be nuts. I'm interested to see how it'll do. Um, when we woke up this morning, it was like 38 degrees outside. I think it's up to maybe a in, little in the 40s right now, so the track is going to be cold. I'm running the 555s, yep. so it's it's gonna be a cold tire going out there with 750 horsepower. Yeah. So my worry is just being able to get the traction down on this thing. I think you're gonna break traction left and right. And actually, we did a, like a build breakdown on your car. Uh, it's on the channel and you can watch that, but real quick, I mean, you just said 700 horsepower. For the people who haven't seen it, just real quick, what is it? Yeah, so this here is the RTR Spec 5 10th anniversary. So some of you guys might be familiar with RTR from Leaf Johnson and from Brian. Uh, so we build upgrades for your Mustang. They're serialized. Uh, they fit the Ford OEM standard, so they come with a full factory warranty. This one right here is our wide body supercharged version. The reason I say 10th anniversary is because we only built 10 of these for the world. Those was to celebrate. 10 years of RTR being in the space, 10 years between Vaughn's first championship and his second, and this one here is number 10. So we got upgraded uh, sway bars, we have coilovers on this thing, Roush Ford Performance Supercharger putting out 750 at the crank, so probably 600 something at the wheels. Full wide body, I have a half cage in there from Watson Racing to kind of stiffen up a little bit more. The thing handles like it's on rails, but it's got more power than it knows what to do with. 
Yeah, so you gotta promise me one thing. Yeah. On that last, how many how many laughs do you get here? You get five. I don't know. I'll find out. On that fifth one, if it's five, you gotta send Just it. Send it. <laughs> Just send it. <laughs> hey, I always said this not across. I wasn't the best, but I was the most fun to watch, boy. <laughs> exactly. Right. And yeah. you can always, when you get back in, be like, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, at least your last, it's your last one. Yeah, yeah don't, don't listen to us. <laughs> yeah, don't do not do that. That's a real good way to kick, get kicked out real fast. Well, we're about to uh, go do this track walk and teach Isaac. Um, you can't see the track from here. This place is huge, Houston Police Academy. But once Isaac gets back, we'll do a track walk together, give him some pointers. Um, and I want to hear what you got to say because I've never autocrossed with you. Yeah, awesome. I'm ready to do this, man. Let's do it. But real quick, um, did you find that little six-year-old boy up there? He was asking if he could help you put on your numbers, and it looks like he did. Just <laughs> oh my god! Oh, dude! <laughs> oh man! So you hey, seen him whenever he dropped the roll of tape and went underneath the raptor. He's like, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I did look like he had uh, trouble in preschool coloring in the lines. <laughs> Yeah. That was between you and me, man. <laughs> no, that was between you and the truck. Yeah, it was between me, you, and the cameras that are everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we need to try and get out here. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to oh, yeah. distract walk. If not, you're going to be lost. Just hopefully you go out first. You're new. So oh. Hey, uh, hey, quick tip, real tip, real talk here. Mm -hmm. uh, one tip somebody once gave me was like, hey, don't worry about being the fastest. Just finish the course. Okay. <laughs> so. Don't go off. Don't go off, okay. don't hit the cones, just finish the course. The, the biggest thing that a lot of people do is they go out there trying to be fast. If it feels like you're going slow, you're going quick. Because it's all about the precision and making sure, like where you have to hit clipping points when you're drifting, you got the same thing out there, except make sure the car doesn't go sideways. And on that note, track. So we're gonna do a little life paddock walk. We're gonna check out some of the cool cars that I personally like. So let's take a look. First car up is the Dodge Viper GTS. Uh, this thing's a Dodge Viper. So the little kid in me is like nerding out over this. Ooh, another Viper, a 650. Got Miatas, Miata Galore, a couple Mustangs, uh, different vehicles. That's cool. Q what? Q. Or no, it's a. What is this? Nismo seats. It's an FX35. And it's all wheel drive. See, this is cool. It even has the aftermarket steering wheel, seats. Got the Porsche. Excuse me, what kind of car is this? It's an Alfa Romeo. Sick. <laughs> We're like, oh, sweet. It's a beaut, like, cool. Yeah. Love your car. Just want to give you props. Never seen it. Like, I don't know if we love it yet or not. Oh, why is that? It's first race. Oh, sweet. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys. Good luck.
guys, that is a wrap on the autocross portion. They're going over their times. Jordan's airing up his car. His car, he's airing up his tires. And Isaac's doing the same thing so we can uh, hit the road. Uh, but Isaac did really good, Isaac. How'd you like that? Oh, it was so much fun. So much fun? Yeah, I kicked Jordan's butt <laughs> with a 6232. 6232. And him? Uh, 6431. Dang, so now we got a little grudge going on here. I really wish I would have brought my car. This made me feel like I was missing out, but I'm glad I could help you. Um, no, I really appreciate it, man. Dip, dip your toe into it and get into it, man. Yeah, no, I really appreciate your help with the pointers and whatnot, what to do, what not to do. Yeah, and you were doing good on proximity on the cones and everything. I was watching you out there. I mean, the part that I could see, the track. The track out here was huge, completely different from what I'm used to. Um, but you did really good, man. Props. Thank you. I appreciate it. You, on the other hand, we gotta have, we gotta have a conversation. Well, I was gonna ask him real quick. Do you have that marker? I know you wanted me to cut this off and sign it for you before you. Oh left. yeah. Uh, <laughs> somewhere in the trunk. Okay, cool. We'll get it. Okay. Yeah. So anything I say is really gonna be an excuse at this point. But um, I adjusted some stuff on the vehicle. I was having trouble putting power down. Yeah. Um, Anytime I would get into it, it would just want to get a little squirrely. Isaac was telling me that he was in third or fourth gear. I never left second. So, yeah. yeah it, it I could see it. I mean, I could hear the supercharger when you would pick up, and then yeah. you could see the car kind of kick to the side, and you yeah. like let off, and then like get back on a little by little. Yeah, I adjust yeah. the suspension. I adjust the tire pressure. At the end, I was down at 20 PSI. I'm just trying to hook. I was going to get below that one-minute mark, and then I was a dummy. And at that last corner... Gave it too much of the beans and she kicked and it just soup. Yeah. Yep. And you got one cone, right? Yeah, I did on my second or third run. Yeah. And no cones? I'm trying to figure out how to find that. It'll say plus one on yeah, it. Yeah, on the it'll say in parentheses next to your time. Where's your time? Figure Mine that went out. Just straight What'd you think? Dude, it was such a great time doing this. Uh it's a great what group were you in? starting point uh, in terms of like SM. seeing what else we can do because this is my first time at uh what autocross so yeah. it's freaking great no, to see what else we can do all four guys, guys he had no great. cones and we're gonna do good oh, no cones. well no that's not you. next time that's, i'll be out there that's alvaro that's okay. next doing. time i'll be out there but guys listen you only got my portion of the video if you want to check out and see how isaac did you got to check out his video and if you want to see jordan's version of the story and his excuses you got to check out his video but if you like the video do me a favor oh, hit that like cones. button Isaac, horrible. <laughs> Do me a favor, hit that like button. It really helps me out in the algorithm. And leave a comment below. Until next time, peace out.